Hello and welcome to my channel. I plan to record my journey towards fire, financial independence, and retire early in this channel. Currently, I mainly focus on sharing my Canadian dividend stock investment journey and those stocks in my portfolio. This is the way that let money works for you and generate more money. In the future, I will also add contents introducing products that saves you money. So if you are interested in these topics, hit the like button to let me know. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to get the latest update. And now, Let's get started. Today is around five months after I started investing in Canadian dividend stocks. And I would like to share my results so far with you guys. I started investing using Wealthville Trade at February 9th, 2021. And today is July the 8th. So it's around five months. After five months, I have totally gained around $993 among these total gains. $99.25 are realized gains with $84 from dividend income. And I also have around $984 of unrealized gains. So far, my total return is 5.14%. In my current portfolio, around 25% are ETFs, and around 23% are financial services, and around 17% are real estate. These are the top three sectors in my portfolio, and these three sectors take up over 60% of my entire portfolio, and the rest 40% are separated between energy oil and gas midstream, communication services, utilities, industries, and consumer defense. The best three performance of my stocks are SGR.B, which brings me around 60% return, the second one is WSP with a total return of 17.28%. And the third one is FN, which brings me around 14% total return so far. And my worst three performing stocks are GRN, which is currently minus 35% off. The second one is HHCLN. This is an ETF that tracks clean energy, and it has around minus 18% return. And the third one is DOC, which has around minus 14% return so far. And these three worst performing stocks are not dividend stocks. And now let's go to my World Simple Trade account to see the returns of each stock that brings to me. Now we are inside my World Simple Trade TFSA account. By the way, if you don't know World Simple Trade, it allows you to trade Canadian stocks without paying any commission fee. And you can start investing as little as $1. If you are interested in open account in Wealth Simple Trade, you can use my referral link. You can get $10 bonus after investing $100 by using my referral code to open this account. And you can find my referral link in the descriptions. So as we can see here, today I have lost around $74. It's around like 0% down, so it's not a big deal. In the past week, I have been up around $44, and in the past month, I have earned around $240, which is around 1% up. In the past three months, I have earned around $726, which is 4% up. And in the past one year, which is after five months, I am around 5% up, so I have totally gained $994, by investing in these stocks. And my all-time return will be the same, around 5% up. I have made videos talking about stocks in my portfolio, so if you are interested in any stocks in my portfolio, feel free to check the videos in my channel of its introductions. And I hope those videos will be helpful for you to pick your own stocks. And as of today, I hold 44 shares of AQN, and my all-time return is around 5% down, so I lose around $45 on AQN so far. I hold 13 shares of ARE, and my total return is around 1.6% down, so I'm losing around $4 on this stock. I hold 20 shares of ATD.B, and my total return is around 8% up, and I have gained $74 from this stock so far. I hold 6 shares of BMO, Bank of Montreal, and my total return is 4% up, I gained around $30 from BMO. I hold 10 shares of BNS, Bank of Nova Scotia, 
and my all-time return is around 0.5% up, I earn around $4 from it. I hold seven shares of CM, Canadian e pair Bank of Commerce, and my all-time return is 4% up, I earn around $42 from CIBC. I hold three shares of CU, Canadian Utilities, and my all-time return is 7% up, I gain around $7 from it. I hold 30 shares of DOC Cloud MD, and my all-time return is 14% down, and I lose $10 on this stock. I hold 7 shares of ENB and Bridge, and I'm currently 8% up, gaining $26 from this stock. I hold 2 shares of FN First Nation Financial Corporation, and my all-time return is around 14% up, I earn around $12 from it. I hold 14 shares of FTS 40s. My all-time return is around 3% up, meaning that I have gained $24 from this stock. I hold 20 shares of GDAP, Good Nature Products Inc. Currently, I'm around 10% down, losing $2 on it. I hold 42 shares of GRN, Greenlight Renewables Inc. Currently, I'm around 35% down, losing around $30 on it. I hold 6 shares of HCLN, Harvest Clean Energy ETF, and currently I am around 18% down, losing around $20 on it. I hold 61 shares of HR.UN, which is a REIT, and currently I am around 12% up, I am gaining over $100 on it. I hold 15 shares of MFC, Manulife Financial Corporation, currently I am around 8% down, losing $31 on it. I hold 7 shares of Metro, MRU, and I'm around 5% up, gaining $20. I hold 4 shares of NA, National Bank of Canada, and currently I'm around 6% up, gaining around $20. I hold 19 shares of NWC, Northwest Company Inc., and currently I'm around 3% up, gaining $22. I hold 39 shares of NWH.UN, this is also a REIT, and currently I'm around 0.4% up, gaining around $2. I hold 5 shares of QQC.F, this is an ETF that tracks the NASDAQ 100, and currently I'm around 9% up, gaining around $50. I hold 45 shares of RUA.UN, another REIT, and currently I'm around 9% up, gaining $81. I hold two shares of SGR.B, Strong Communications Inc., and currently I'm around 60% up, gaining $27. I hold seven shares of SLF, Sun Life Financial Inc., and currently I'm around 9% down, losing around $10. I hold 32 shares of SRU.UN, this is also REIT, and currently I'm around 8% up, gaining around $70. I hold 23 shares of SU, Sankar Energy, and currently I'm 5% up, gaining around $30. I hold 29 shares of Talos, and currently I'm around 6% up, gaining around $42. I hold 11 shares of TCL.A, Transcontinental Inc., and currently I'm around 5% up, gaining around $13. I hold 10 shares of TD, Toronto Dominion Bank, and currently I am around 5% down, losing around $4. I hold one share of TFII, TFI International Inc., and currently I am 13% up, gaining around $13. I hold 36 shares of VFV, an ETF that tracks the S&P 500 index, and currently I am 6% up, gaining around $200. I hold 30 shares of VGRO, this is a gross ETF offered by Vanguard, and currently I am 3% up, gaining $31. Finally, I hold 5 shares of WSP, WSP Global Inc., and currently I am around 17% up, gaining over $100 on it. This covers all the stocks in my portfolio and the return so far of each stock. As we can see in the total return after 5 months, I currently have 5% on my total investment. I'm pretty happy with this result, meaning that I'm around 1% up each month. 
And I hope this trend will keep going so that by the end of the year, I could have like over 10% all-time return, which will be very exciting. So how was your portfolio performance so far? And did you have a good month in June? Feel free to share your all-time return and your thoughts on long-term investment with me. And thanks for everyone who has watched this My Investment Journey series. And let's see my portfolio grows over time together. And hopefully, I can use my video to inspire you to believe in long-term investment. And let us all get rich slowly together. Thanks for watching my video. If you like it, hit the like button to let me know. If you are looking for a zero commission fee platform to invest stocks, I recommend you One Simple Trade. If you are looking for high interest saving account, One Simple Cash offers 0.77% interest, and EQ Bank offers you 1.25% interest, which are all higher than the big banks. Check out my referral links in the description to get a referral bonus when opening these accounts. Thanks again for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video.